If you struggle with wondering what to post on Instagram, how to create graphics that look nice for your brand, don't worry, Adobe Spark is here to save the day. If you're new here, my name's Jess and I help business owners save time and look good online. And today we're gonna dive into Adobe Spark. And yes, this is sponsored by Adobe Spark, but I'm a huge Adobe fan because as a graphic and web designer, I use all of the Adobe products in my business for my clients and for my Myself. Now, Adobe Spark can be used on your phone, desktop, or tablet, but today I'm gonna be showing you how to use it on your phone, because if you're like me, I am on my phone a lot, and I just like being able to make graphics on the go sometimes. So when you pull up the Adobe Spark app and you've logged in, you're gonna see this screen of templates. Now, right now they're just showing you the featured ones. You can see at the top, if you scroll left, they have different options like lifestyle, and business and school. So you can just start with a template and customize it to what you need, or you can totally start from scratch, which is what I'm gonna show you today. So we're gonna press the big green button at the bottom of the screen. Then you get some options of how you want to start. I'm gonna start with a solid color. And then you can actually, you can see suggested colors down here and even tweak it as you want. So let's see, let's, adjust that, that looks good. And then click next. Then you can also choose the different sizes. So you can do an Instagram post, Instagram story, Facebook, Pinterest, YouTube, LinkedIn, even like letter size, <laughs> social profiles. Like you have lots of options here. I'm gonna do an Instagram story. Then you can double tap to edit the text and start editing. So the first thing we can do is change the font. Y'all know I love me some fonts. So I am going to choose, let's see, so many good ones. Let's do Lee Gothic. Then if you double tap, that's where you can edit the text. Then you can also change the color. You can also put a shape behind your text if you want. You can adjust the size of your design if you want. Um, then they give some more, like if you wanna rotate or scale it, you can change the alignment, the spacing, the opacity, and the style, which gives you kind of, if you scroll through, it will give you different options of how you can have your design look. Now we have some other options like add an animation, which is fun, especially if you're creating this for Instagram stories. It gives it a little more of a visual and interactive element instead of just being text that sits still on screen. So that's pretty cool. Now I've created my post. I'm ready to export. So I'm gonna tap this upload or download button up in the right hand corner. And now it gives you options of how to export. You can save it to your phone. I can even do it straight to Instagram, which is what I'm going to do. It gives me the option to do it as a story or in my feed. I'm gonna do the story, and there it is, right in my story, ready to share. So easy. Adobe Spark does have a free plan, which is what I was using today, or you can upgrade to their individual plan and get a few more features and options. If you want a seven day free trial, be sure and check out the link below in the description. If you have questions, let me know. Be sure and give this video a thumbs up, and I will see y'all next time.